Hey, what's up, YouTube? What's happening, man? It's your boy D over here at Lazy Gaming. And I'm, I want to try something different. I've been seeing this um, NBA Youngboy interview coming around, bro. And I ain't gonna lie, I fuck with Youngboy hard. So, with that being said, this is my first reaction, man. I ain't watch it. I just kind of set it up. I teed it up. I probably watched, like, probably 30 seconds of it. But I'm about to go ahead and I'm about to talk y'all head off. I'm about to go ahead and react to it and see what happens. Shit. So let me go ahead and start this motherfucking man. Alright. I do want to feel positive about myself though one day. Like, alright, you did it. Nothing's wrong with you. You okay to walk this earth? You're not a bad person. You're not someone who's fucking it up. I'm just curious on the man that I'm gonna become. I think I grew out of liking music, like, the love for it, but it's like, it's therapy. It's the only way I can express myself, and as I sit down behind the mic and just let things flow out of my mouth, I feel relieved. Man, I was flooded with millions of dollars from the time I was 16 all the way to this point in my life. So he said a lot of shit so far, just in that little little part. He said he feel like he done fell out of love with music. Like he don't love music no more. And I get that. I mean, when you do something and you kind of reach a whole bunch of motherfuckers, it's like you start seeing what it do to motherfuckers. Like he probably, he said it's his therapy, but I think he kind of see his therapy is influencing other people. And and that's where he's starting to fall out of love with it. Like, he, he do music. But it, it becomes a thing where do you even have to even share it? You know what I'm saying? Like, what does this go do? Like, because the people listening to it ain't listening to it as if, like, oh, okay, you getting the shit off your chest. No, they thinking, like, oh, okay, this is what I need to do to be like you type shit. And yeah, that's slippery slope, man. I'll fall out of love a lot of shit if I see a motherfucker looking at what I'm doing and taking it and trying to live it. You know what I'm saying? I'm shut up. I'm gonna play. And I woke up one morning and I was like, damn, they got me. Man, look at the shit I spoke about. Look at the shit I put in these people's ears. Exactly. Man, I feel very wrong. He just said exactly what the fuck I just said, man. Man, I've been, I, I don't like the word using a fan, because I'm not a fan of people, per se. But his music, like, you got, you got three, he, he, he running three type of lanes, man. Like, you pissed him off, he getting his shit off music. Or, you broke his heart, he about to get his shit off about that type music. And then he got, like, a regret class, like, shit he say. And like, damn, I'm fucking y'all up. He got three types of music. It's three, it's three different types of young boy fans, man. It's three different types. And me being older, like, yeah, I like the, I like the bust your head type shit too. But I also know I'm a person, so I got that too. Like, you piss me off hard, I want to fuck you up, and then after that, it's like, you know what? Fuck it. Keep it moving type shit. It, it ain't even that deep. I'm wrong about a lot of things. How many lives I actually am responsible for when it comes to my music? You How many kids voice, and bro. people have gotten in the car or put this shit in their ears and actually went hurt someone? And now I'm sitting back like, damn, I can't do it all in one day. But I promise to clean whatever I can clean. But it's going to take time. And the sad part is, like, even with him saying this out of his mouth, 
the people is still go hold him to what they see in him. This this is him talking. He not loud. He not yelling. He ain't even screaming. This is the real him. He really soft spoken, man. He really soft spoken, man. He really ain't what y'all think he is. Yeah, he might get off on you. Yeah, he may shoot you in your fucking face. But if he had a choice to be what he wanted to be, it would be that. That is really who this person is, man. Y'all need to stop looking at motherfuckers and seeing what y'all want to see, bro. You tell me who the fuck he is, man. Do y'all want to be like him? The real him? Or y'all want to be like his persona? That's fake. We got a whole bunch of motherfuckers out here trying to live fake personas. He not even that. He's not even that person. I actually want to get rid of all of these cars. I can't drive any of them. I think I'd rather just fill my garage with antique cars until I do get a little freedom where I can double back and purchase some of these where I can have my fun in. <laughs> That's my accountant, Miss Quintina, making sure I handle the money I was blessed with properly. I can feel when he needs me to be that. I take and that so day. that accounting hat, I take it I off take when he needs me to be him. When he needs somebody to talk to. Whatever he needs me to be, that's what I am for him. Well, my grandmother was my everything. That was my protection, my comfort. This is my angel, my protector. So as she died, I seen like just this very big difference inside everything. Like he got a big heart. Like he love people. Like if he love you, he love you. You know what I mean? <laughs> one of his good friends brought him over to me. And after one session, he was just like, man, he doesn't really mess with nobody, but he like you. He like, I don't know what that is. So it was just kind of natural. like. Just our chemistry and our bond just kept growing and kept growing. And I consider him a brother. I'm not famous. I don't think about it. I just have a lot of people that know me, I guess. <laughs> that too. <laughs> exactly, man. Ain't no such thing as fame, bro. If, if a random person, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Yeah, he make music, his music is popular, but if you think of the idea of fame, like in general, the ideal of fame is weird. A whole bunch of people who really just know your name, they really don't know you at all. They know your name. Like, okay, and they know your face because it'll probably be on TV, but if you even just think about it, like relatively, like, Everybody with a Facebook page, they got over like a thousand, a thousand followers, as they say. They call them followers. I hate that word, but that shit's so lame, bro. Or people that just know your face. Technically, you'll be famous 50 years ago. Like, let that sink in. 50 years ago, you got about 1,700 people, which is low. You'll be famous. Think about it. We got a weird sense of shit, man. It, it bothers me. I'm terrified of people. I am very scared of people. As you should be. Man. Like all my kids. I am terrified of people. And I am very shy. But I never knew why once I walk on the stage, I could get it done and leave. I'm terrified of people. People are cruel. It's like we can't control ourselves. Nope. So you never know what someone will do you. Do you dirty in a motherfucking instance because you make them 
feel something that you had no clue that you even made them feel. And instead of talking to you, get your ass up out of here so quick, bro. You right. You should be very terrified of people because people are the ugliest things ever created. For what? I don't even know, man. It, it, it blows the hell out of me. Even a dog won't bite you if you feed him. But a person would. I always, you know, knew what he was doing and what he had going on and his music and his buzz and and I was impressed with what he achieved being from where we're from. And I mean, they, they are some of the hardest working people in the music business. I think his legacy will be himself. He's not gonna be compared to anybody. He's setting the tone and standing out by his work ethic. I always wanted to be a rapper. This was always my dream. I never had a plan B. This is what I was set on becoming. That's what it was. <clears throat> you can't be on top forever. You know? There's always to be another artist. But there'll never be another young boy. I will not be provoked. I will not be broken. And I'm not going back to where I used to be. Accept it or not, I ain't going back. I only get more groovy from here. <laughs> hey man, young boy actually goofy as hell, bro. Yeah, they all walk out this door. I don't want you to go back, bro. Keep making the music you making right now, bro. Your shit slapping still, bro. I fucks with you. And shit, if your shit never pop off again, it don't even matter, bro. You got your money, you got your family, bro. Fuck all the extra shit. Fame is an illusion, bro. That shit an illusion, bro. Get your money and take care of your fucking family. Everything else is not it's even It's going to be a whole anymore. lot of doing. These people don't forget about you when they feel like it. Yep, this it. This it. I'm going to leave that there. Yeah, man. Like I said, man. You done said everything. I done said already. Y'all heard the man. You're not going back. Keep making the music you're making, bro. Keep getting your money. Stay out these people. Way that's crazy as hell. Let them people have the fame. Keep your life, big homie. Peace.